Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today I'm making a video all about one of my favorite things, and that is highlighters. Highlighter is such a big topic right now with the whole strobing trend, and I absolutely love highlighter myself, so I thought I would take you through my collection of highlighters. I'm going to start out with my drugstore highlighters and then move on to my high-end highlighters. The first thing I'm going to talk about are my NYX Ultra Pearl Mania. Um, these are actually eyeshadows, and there are four colors here because I have them for all different skin tones. And these can be used um, on your eyes, obviously they're an eyeshadow, but you can kind of use these a little bit more sheerly on your cheekbones for a highlight. And I think they're absolutely amazing. They're really, really, really ultra shimmery pearly. They're not super glittery glittery, but they do give your like skin a nice wet look sheen. And I have the shades Nude, which is just your typical kind of champagne kind of highlight. I have Sky Pink. This one is a little bit more of a pinky toned highlighter. For medium skin tones, I have the shade Mink. This one is absolutely gorgeous. And then I have a gold highlighter for deeper skin tones, and this one is called Oro. I absolutely love these. They are super, super super inexpensive and I keep these in my kit for when I do um, weddings and photography makeup and all sorts of things like that. They look beautiful in photography. Um, they pick up the light really well but they don't give you that kind of like bing flash. They just kind of really highlight the cheek area um, and you can build them up or shear them out depending on what kind of brush you use. These are just a big top recommendation for me if you're looking for a loose powder highlighter. This highlighter I don't really use as a highlighter. I actually don't really use this product much anymore. I used to use it quite a bit. This is from Wet n Wild and it's marketed as a bronzer, but I assume that like the bronzers and highlighters are all together. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer SPF 15 in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. I bought this um, for Halloween a couple years ago. I wanted to set my face with um, an ultra ultra like high shine powder and this is what I got when I searched that on the internet. So I picked this up. That was when I was Ken for Halloween a few years ago. Um, I don't know if I used this in my video. I made a video about it. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really use this much anymore but I do keep it in my collection just in case I kind of want to play with it again. This is from Smashbox. This is their Halo highlighting wand in the shade Gold. This works great on medium to deeper skin tones. I use this when I have a tan, um, and it's just kind of a gold sparkly highlight. There is a little bit of visible glitter in this one, and it's in the form of a clicky pen. It's got a brush applicator, and the product comes out through the brush. You can apply it with the brush, but I prefer to squeeze it out onto the back of my hand and then apply it with my fingertips. But I absolutely love this one for um, kind of giving myself a bronzy highlighted glow. They also do this in a pearl shade as well, but I picked up the gold because I was pretty tan when I bought it. Another super tan highlighter is from CK1. This is the shade 200 Warm. This is actually a liquid bronzer, but it has quite a bit of illumination, so I'm including it in this video because I do kind of use it like a highlighter, especially when I'm tan. I haven't used this in quite a while, actually. I bought it last summer, and I used it quite a bit, um, and then I kind of just forgot about it until just now. I'm going to start using this one again. I actually like to mix this one in, or I used to like to mix this one in with moisturizer to kind of just give my skin an all-over warm glow. Next, I have three shades of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I got these in a set at Christmas time. I have Pearl, Opal, and Champagne Gold, not to be confused with Champagne Pop. This is Champagne Gold, which was part of their Christmas collection 2014. Um, and it's just three miniature travel sizes. I love these. I've had them for, I mean, since last Christmas, and they all seem to be pretty full except for Pearl, which I think is the one that I use the most. I usually mix these in with cream blush to kind of give those more of a sheer illuminating effect. Um, and I absolutely love these. These are great. I wish they made theirs, like, full size with a wand applicator because I like to pull it out and dot it where I want. I don't like on their regular ones. You have to um, pump it out and then kind of use your fingers or a brush. Um, this just makes it a lot easier. And I love these. The colors are great. They all work on my skin tone. So I imagine that most of them would kind of work with lots of different skin tones because I'm pretty fair. Um, I know that Opal is like their number one seller, I think. And these are just great staples. You can use these under your foundation, over your foundation, or mixed in with your foundation to kind of give you an all-over glow. Now onto the powder highlighters. I'm going to talk about first mine from Bare Minerals. This is like a palette that has three shades in it. This has a highlighter, kind of a blushy highlighter, and then like a bronzy kind of color. They don't give you enough pigment to really use them as like a blush, bronzer, and highlighter. I like to swirl them all together to give me like a uh, kind of all over glow. This is for face and body, so you can take this onto your decollete, um, your shoulders, your arms, your legs, where any, anywhere that you want to look like shimmery and cute. 
and this is called The Many Splendors. This, again, was like a Christmas exclusive. I think this is from two Christmases ago, but um, lots of brands make big ones like this for your face and body. I've got one from Stila, and this is Kitten. This is like their top-selling eyeshadow, but in like face highlighter form. You can use the eyeshadow of Kitten as a facial highlighter. It looks pretty much just the same. This is super intense. This is like real deal strobing highlighter. Um, I don't use this one often. It looks like I use it a lot, but I don't use this one often anymore. I used to use it quite a bit. I use it as an eyeshadow a lot because it's that pigmented, um, and you don't even need, like, water or Fix Plus or anything to foil this. It is, like, metallic. Um, and, I mean, it's beautiful, but it's just, like, a lot for me for, like, most days. I have a shimmer brick from Bobbi Brown. This is pink quartz, and this is just what it sounds like. It's a pinky highlighter. Um, it's not too deep, which I like because sometimes I want more of a subtle highlight. I don't really want like a white pearly highlight. I just want some shimmer on my cheeks and I can kind of get away with using this as a blush slash highlighter because there's just enough pigment in it to give me that pinky color. Um, and this one is gorgeous. I use this for like day to day. It's not really like my going out highlighter, but kind of a daytime highlighter for me. And last, I have my Marc Jacobs 302 close-up. This one's my favorite. I'm actually wearing it today. Um, I love this just because it has those three tones in it that I can use for multiple purposes. I did a video on this earlier in the week. You can check that out. I actually use this on my eyes. I'm still wearing that look right now. Um, and I just love the way this looks. It's not like super glittery. It just gives your skin such a nice, gorgeous, pearly sheen, um, and you can kind of adjust, pick the colors that are going to work best for you for that day. When I'm more tan, I stick to these, and I'm more pale, I stick to this side over here, um, and they're just gorgeous. The formula is gorgeous. It's not too pigmented that you kind of have um, a lot going on. It just blends really beautifully on the skin, and the packaging is just gorgeous all around my favorite highlighter of the moment. All right, that is my collection of highlighters. I absolutely love highlighter. If there are any that you think that I should try out, please leave me a comment below suggesting that for me. Give me a thumbs up if you love highlighter just as much as me. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click on my face right now to do so. I post every Monday and Thursday, and don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Both of those things are at John John Talks, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.